Got, he's got uh, obviously a lot to learn, uh, but great potential. Top of the bill coming up here shortly, but more live action for you before that. This at featherweight, and it's Mark Callahan from just down the road in Barking, making steady progress, this young man, 22 years of age, seven wins in eight so far. And up against him, it's John Barnes, solid pro from Sunderland. Featherweights, let's rejoin Jim and Ian. So, sports fans and Sky fans, let's continue the action in the featherweight division. Firstly, and introducing to you, fighting out of the red corner, he's wearing the white trunks and weighed in at nine stone. Brings a 13 fight record, seven wins, five in, five losses and one draw. He's from the Premiership City of Sunderland. Will you please welcome John Barnes. <laughs> and across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner. He's wearing the black trunks, trimmed with gold and weighed in at nine stone and three pounds. Bringing a eight fight record, Seven wins and three inside the scheduled distance and one defeat. He's from Barking. Please welcome Mark Callahan. <laughs> Time for the bell is Nick White and referee in charge of the action is star referee Richie Davis. This is four three minute rounds. Hey lads, now remember you must defend yourselves at all times. You hit the knuckle part of the closed glove, type of bell. One of you goes down, the other goes to the furthest neutral corner. You do not come out until I say so. One thing I absolutely insist upon, fellas, is when I say break, you both take that step back. You got all that? Yeah. You got all that? Shake hands. Well, last time out, Mark Callaghan knocked out Steve Brook of Pontefract. He was unbeaten at the time, and Brook was out cold before he hit the floor that night. Hadn't looked really a big puncher before that, Callaghan, interestingly. He's in with John Barnes here, who's a gritty kind of capable sort from Sunderland. He's in the white. Callaghan with seven wins out of eight so far, and the only defeat was on cuts against Simon Chambers. Some people think that Mark Callaghan might one day be good enough to get into British title contention, but that's a little down the road for him. This is a step along the way tonight. Black trucks, remember, of Callaghan. Right! Right clean with your toe. Barnes, who boxes out of the Tommy Conroy stable up in Sunderland. This is his fifth fight already this year, Jim. Yep. Uh, <laughs> some kids box for to become champions, some box for a living. That's a busy young man. Obviously never out of the gym. The a bit of a... been uh, won twice for the... Is he stooping too low with his head? I was just going to say, Jim, there's a bit of a reach problem, I think, for Callag, and he'll need to be getting inside. Yes, I think his problem at the moment is throwing his punches from too far out. He's going to have to step in with the shots. He's reaching with his punches, that was better. He's going to have to learn to get his feet a little bit closer before he lets the punches go. Callaghan from Barking in Essex. So on uh, home territory just about here in East London. It's been a pro for 18 months. It was a fair amateur as well. Barnes has won seven out of 13 so far. He's a win some, lose some kind of operator at the moment. from Barnes there. Just finding it hard to get in range to land his shots, Callaghan. Can he work out the problem? Just has to develop a little bit of smoothness. He's a sort of looking featherweight strong. 
he just he needs a little bit of smoothness in his technique. The Silly Brothers. That car does not go on this stand. Yeah. Well, they're going to be dead chuff when they see their car on the Skoda stand, aren't they? <sighs> what a bunch of... We're at the York Hall in Bethnal Green. We're going to be quite busy at the York Hall in Bethnal Green this coming month. There are numerous promotions coming up here, but they're always well supported. Yeah, but I think the small halls bring out the best in fighters. Uh, the crowd are right on top of it, the boxers, and uh, this one's shaping up well in the first round. Nice little busy first round. Yeah, look at that, they are. You're never much more than about 25 metres from the ring anywhere here. Black Trunks, Mark Callaghan, the featherweight prospect from Barking in Essex. John Barnes of Sunderland in the white. Ah! Barnes's career was interrupted by injury for a time, but he came back in May of last year. Ah! Not finding it easy, is he here, Callaghan? No, he's in with a shrewd little boxer. Uh, but Barnes knows what he's doing. He's very compact, doesn't make too many mistakes. In fact, uh, Callaghan's the one who's making the mistakes because he's having to force the moves. That's what I mean. He just has to kind of smooth things down, just shuffle his way in a little bit closer before he lets the punches go. Because he commits himself at long range with big long punches, and then he's, he's wide open to counter punches. Then. It's a problem he's going to have to solve as well, being only five feet six tall. This will not be the last time that he's in with a guy who's significantly taller and with a reach advantage over him. Just not very accurate at all, Callaghan. Hitting the night air an awful lot. And it walked onto a right hand there from Barnes. It caught him flush. He took the punch well. Good shot, that, by the Sunderland fighter. Callaghan gets there with his own right. I think at this level, Callaghan will probably beat some people just on volume of punches he throws. But uh, he's going to have to learn uh, the tricks of getting close without getting hit the way in. And be able to let three, four and five punches go. Let him go, Bones. Let him go. Just getting a little closer, Callaghan, in the last 45 seconds or so. There's a right hand. He's started to find the range with one or two of them. I've got too low. Callaghan not bad on the counter. It might be an idea if he tried to draw some leads from, from Barnes. And when you're in with these shrewd little guys, sometimes you have to force them into making mistakes, force them to make the first move. Barnes giving his usual honest workmanlike performance, and then he's put down by a left hand. Good shot. Caught him a bit square on. He was up quickly. Mandatory eight count for Barnes. And the bell came somewhere in the middle of all that, and it couldn't have come soon enough. Here it is again, Jim. Well, that was a knockdown out of nothing. Bang, lovely left hook, bang on the chin. Didn't see this the heart Barnes, but uh, no question. I think he was more embarrassed than anything else uh, to find himself in the floor, but it was a lovely left hook. So you get the full body leverage into that punch. Good shot by Callaghan, yes. and remember he knocked his man Spark out last time. 
Here's the third round of four then. Mark Callaghan of Barking in the black and gold trunks. Barnes on the floor in the second round. Barnes, that was the first time that he'd been floored and this is his 14th fight. Yeah, well, he shouldn't feel too bad because it was a perfect little left hook, got him bang in the chin. And nothing wrong with his chin because he was smiling as he went down. That should lift Callaghan. You stay out as well. Just in. He's only got three knockout wins in eight fights, but uh, I don't know, maybe there's developing power there. <laughs> Technique's got as much to do with, with knockout percentage when you can land the, the punches cleanly. Power's no good if you're not using it properly, so maybe with more experience, more power will come. He certainly looks a solid little guy. Into that hook again. Obviously, it's funny punch the left hook, Callaghan. And a decent straight right through the middle as well. Arms looks a little open to that. His defence just beginning to look a shade leaky, Barnes. See, Barnes is committing himself now. He's, trying, he's been on the floor, he's probably lost the first round, so he's having to commit himself to get back into the fight here. So there should be target now for Callaghan. Now's, now's the chance to, to let some punches go. <laughs> It's become competitive. Carnegie looks that little bit better. Getting the shots quite well, doubling up on the jab. Good body shot, too, from Carnegie there. starting to show the signs of wear and tear, Barnes, in there. <laughs> Callaghan landing with increasing regularity. This is the kind of action that, that Callaghan likes now. Close quarter stuff, he doesn't have to go looking for Barnes now. So really his work should start improving now. I think that knocked down in the last round and the strength of that left hook certainly took something out of Barnes. There is Mark Callaghan, who won a North East London Divisional title in 1998 with Newham Amateur Boxing Club. And that's what the computer says so far on Punches Landed. 60 to 50, not a lot in it, really. No, but I think the quality of Callaghan's punches, though, slightly higher. That's what the computer can't tell you, of course. They're working on it. Any day now, they'll have a computer that does that too. And we'll be out of a job soon, Ian. <laughs> they told you, did they? <laughs> <laughs> See, this is the action that Callaghan likes. In the first couple of rounds, he was having to go looking for Barnes. Didn't feel comfortable. A lot of his punches out of range. But he's enjoying himself a little bit more now. And his punch is definitely better punching. So fourth and last round, and uh, Richie Davis, the referee, says to them, cracking fight, well done, boys, as they start the final session. I think Richie might be taking over from the famous Harry Gibbs. He was a great one for chatting to you in between rounds and during the fight. Probably the best referee we've ever produced. Great referee who died just a few months ago, sadly. I think he stopped one fighter on scar tissue before the opening bell, didn't he? Harry Gibbs once in Nottingham. <laughs> Can't fight tonight, son, sorry. <laughs> Confidence 
growing. He's boxing with a little more of a swagger now, following the technical problems he was having early on in the contest. As time goes on, though, he's going to have to learn to get a bit closer to the target before he lets the punches go, because he's committing himself at long range. And when you step up in class, you're going to be punished for that. He's going to have to get a little bit closer so that he has a defence as well as an attack. What do you think of him generally, Jim? Yeah, he's certainly good potential. I like the solid look about him, I like the punches he throws. Just like everybody else, he has to work a little bit more on his technique. He has to learn how to get close to the chin down to let the punches go. His right hand's getting through with some regularity. Callaghan did that well. Complaining to the referee. His hands worked in close. Worth remembering, it's only the ninth professional fight for Callaghan, and he's only 22 years of age. Plenty of time. Yep, definitely. Definitely something to work with there. Barnes, workmanlike, as always, but just unable to provide that something extra. few seconds and it looks like Callaghan's on his way to an emphatic points victory here which would make it eight wins out of nine for him to get the final ball any moment not too much doubt about it Callaghan has it Barnes optimistically proffered his hand towards the referee as fighters uh, won't to do but I don't think he really thought in his heart of hearts that that hand was going to be lifted well, the stats have it fairly close, but I think it's fair to say that Callaghan was really the boss in virtually every round, and the knockdown just put the, the clincher on it for him. So well done to Mark Callaghan. Continues to go the right way. And John Barnes, well, I said it was win some, lose some. Tonight it was lose for him. So how big was the margin? John McDonald, our MC, is about to reveal all, so to speak. Ladies and gentlemen, after four rounds of boxing, referee Richie Davis has scored the contest for Barnes, 36 points. For Callaghan, 40 points, your winner. From Barking, Mark Callaghan. And show your appreciation from Sunderland there, John Barnes. So Callaghan clear winner on points and there'll be more learning fights for a while yet I would suspect but eight wins in nine for this young man so Barry armed with this glowing reference from Messrs Watt and Dark Callahan shows up on your door on Monday what do you say to him oh he's doing very well he should just carry on doing what he's doing and making progress he's got a lot to learn as the boy said but he's got obvious talent got power uh, he needs to move his head a little bit more but he's making good progress and he just needs to keep on doing what he's doing come back to me in a year I think is the answer yeah. British and Commonwealth bantamweight title is our top of the bill here tonight shortly let's